Greetings everybody and welcome to Just an Armor channel. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and share my content as it helps the channel grow greatly. Today, we are going to talk about Falcon Winter Soldier's final. This is my review. <clears throat> and the title is, Hey Disney, I'm a normie and I'm done being lectured by the likes of Hollywood and Marvel over race issues that don't exist. So, Today, I am not sure where I want to start in all of this. In all honesty, I am the audience that Disney plus Marvel wants watching this show, right? Well, you lost this, Normie. Why? Because I don't need to be lectured about racism. I just want to be entertained. What we didn't get was enough of Falcon we got a lot of other areas like this backstory of the struggle of his family and the family business of shrimping, which came across really bad and people were just making jokes about it everywhere. When we focus on Winter Soldier, we had disjointed focus that started off good with the focus on his PTSD and the deprogramming of his Winter Soldier training, attempting to make amends, which I find to be rather noble. But they completely lost me and enclosed it and moved on. They could have had a good show that focused on several angles that are affecting people today. Instead, they took the show into a direction of creating a narrative that does not exist. It exists only in the heads of those writers and creators that seem to believe they need to shove or shovel down your throat what they believe we, the audience, needs to be in terms of lectured by Hollywood. The same Hollywood that protected pedos like Weinstein. Further, they made unfound accusations of alleged income inequality, the dangers of nationalism, the Yahtzees, <clears throat> a, certain regime, a certain government during World War II, and some type of struggle that doesn't exist. I'm not claiming that what they are trying to portray doesn't happen, but it doesn't happen in the way that these people claim. They, say re they see racism in every corner which doesn't exist. This, this whole story about the flag smashers were weak. We never got anything to explain this idea of one world, one people. Sounds more like a radical young person, Carly, that has no clue what she is talking about. That is called globalism. But her so-called struggle was not a real struggle. It was created just like Falcon lecturing that senator about doing better. Doing better at what? How the hell could Anthony Mackie go along with this? Yes, I know, he's an actor, but really? The Flag Smashers were simply terrorists and should have been treated as such, but excuses were being made as if her so-called legitimate thoughts of her struggle was somehow real. Perhaps in an artificial world, she thinks along with her misguided group of so-called super soldiers. <laughs> and moving forward towards the situation in creating Captain America through reducing and demoting Falcon and creating a new Captain America. What do you all think about this? Because I'm, in all honesty, in all, I'm overall opinion, the show was a big disappointment. It is why I won't be watching and reviewing Loki. I'll wait for reviews, see if I should. If you, if you my listeners, want me to do so, please do. Do let me know and I'll watch it for you. So, you know. And the thing is, is I love Tom Holland. I mean, Tom um, uh, Hiddleston that plays Loki. However, what was missed was so much. I don't want to go into deep discussion about it. I think what I have stated is enough. I have had high hopes for Falcon Winter Soldier only to be treated as is being forced into being told that I'm a racist and that I need to change. I am not a racist. Those that have created this narrative are the real racists. They see things through a certain lens that others don't. Why? 
Were they wronged in some way? Was it something they did to themselves that they saw as being unjust? Was it somewhere they were brought up? How was that pinned on me to justify being racist? I didn't create that environment. Some have stated that the show was a movie and a cut to be something of a TV show. What do y'all think about that? I think overall Anthony Mackie and Special Stan Bucky are a good team. Great actors. They have great chemistry on street on on screen. And they truly complement themselves. I was not sure it would work. They seem very opposite in many ways, but they could have helped Mackie help Winter Soldier. He worked at the VA. You know, if we go back to the first, you know, the first Avenger, um, you know, and the creation of of Cap and all that stuff, dude, you know, you know, he was working with disabled vets. He knows the struggle. But when Mackie was attempting to help Bucky, it didn't come across that way. Instead, it seemed fake in so many ways. Also, don't get me wrong, as I saw a lot wrong with this show, the actors, on the other hand, had some great moments in the show. And it had shown. I don't blame them for other things. But these characters were important to get right. Even for a normie that doesn't know or understand the real backstory of these two. I have a rough idea, and they have completely destroyed that. As I am done until things improve, or otherwise it can stay in the trash heap. So, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys and everybody. I really appreciate you all listening and all that. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll be talking to you all later. Take care. Bye.